Oh, people, my name is Rage, and welcome and all to some more Portal 2 Fan Chambers on the Moon. Would be a lot more exciting if we were on the moon, though, I have to say. The winner of the mystery topic. Well, actually, I should totally not have told you and left it as a mystery. It was Antita Man. Today's topic is the first of a double whammy week of anything. So we open with Beastie Hedgehog and the mystery of the missing Franken cubes. I love uh, this loading screen as the chamber slowly fixes itself, though so not really as much as it could. Okay, so we got a nice pet Franken cube in a cage, and we got four button holders. So I'm gonna go out on a crazy limb here. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. I had a feeling, I had a feeling ooh, ooh, that there was a lot going on. So somewhere in this room, I am going to assume, I mean, there's a Franken cube over there, though I'm not entirely sure where it is I'm supposed to be going to in this room. It doesn't seem like there's an end goal. I'm kind of just... Going places, oh my word, that was difficult. Yeah, it's like, okay, um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave, and the reason I'm just gonna leave is because, oh, there's a light over there. So maybe, ah, so I just have to get the Franken cube. That makes more sense. So yeah, obviously the mystery of the missing Franken cube. Maybe I have to go find a load of Franken cubes. So the entire sort of jumpiness of that chamber, nice, was just an illusion to make me do something I didn't actually have to do. I'm going to assume that something is going on up there because how could it not be with the room layout that we're working with? And there it is. We've got our next Franken cube. That one, I'll admit, is not terrifically difficult. Probably could have hidden that a little bit better, Beastie. Though I do like this little ledge up there. So that's two out of uh, four. Don't you move, Franken. I'm watching you, boy. And in here, I love this lighting that's going on, though. Having actual lights. That is uh, really, really neat. So where is our Franken? He's not down there. Hmm... I'll be Franken. I have no idea. Like I'll be, I'll be Frank, but I, actually not. That's cleaning gel, from what I can see, which makes sense given how this room is laid out. So what happens if I go all the way up here? Can I actually get to somewhere? I mean, it doesn't look specifically like I can. What about up here? No, there's nothing going on. Interesting. It is most mysterious. Oh, there's a little gap on the on the side. Can I like sneak in to this gap and maybe ah, I can. So this seems like a chamber that's just completely designed to trick you at every twist and turn. Though the real question, what does that actually do pressing that button? Because it feels like it does literally no, nothing. Oh, there's a Franken cube down there. I mean, I can just get that one. Yeah, okay, well, that worked nicely. So, surely I could just go get the one that I started near? Or is that that one? Oh, that one's gone. Okay. So, surely there must be one in. There is one in here. So, maybe this one looks actually really difficult because how am I supposed to get to it. Franken! Here boy! Here boy! Just come to the edge, Franken! Come to the edge, I will grab you, and then everything will be okay! It's all you need to do, Franken! There is nowhere for me to actually fling myself with any sort of impressive speed. Is that a- Oh no, I've got an idea. I have got an idea. Who says I'm not allowed to use the other parts of the rooms? If I get my blue gel on here, I should be able to paint the walls a little bit, or hell, even painting the floor kind of works, and then we'll eventually, okay, that kind of has something going for it, though maybe I need the speed gel more than anything, that's probably accurate, because if I have the speed gel over here, and then, so I can have the speed gel here, jump onto that, and maybe if I have blue gel there, 
that will kind of work. Potentially, I well, I'm just, I'm just gonna go for it. So I need to switch. Wait, where's my blue? Where's my blue? I see you, blue. So you can go there, blue. That's fine. And then we will switch to the orange gel. Can I not switch to the orange gel? I can switch to the orange gel. <laughs> I actually didn't expect to bounce the second time there, and that did freak me out just a little bit. So we've got our orange gel, which is, of course, nice. But the real question is, what can we do with it that's specifically really helpful? We actually got very, very close there. I think we are somewhat approaching something that I can work with. And there it is, like a mouse. A very nicely, intricately laid out room, though. I do... Very much appreciate that one, and we have done it! So this whole room was just pretend, because it was actually to do with that room. That is really, really nice. Well done, Beastie Hedgehog. Next up, we have Fish Spider Industries Join Zapiger by the Raging Zombie of Anger. Ooh, okay. How? How do they know my name? No! The head and CEO of Fish Spider Industries. Damn, Stra 8. I have been reduced down to a teenager. No, I don't want to be a teenager again. I don't know how. I don't know when. But now I am 14 years old. Shudder. The point is, I made a deal with Aperture Laboratories. They said they could build me a machine. That will age me up to my former age. That sounds like an unlikely thing. And then, when I'm 22 years old, slow down the aging process by a lot. Ooh. Immortality. I will live for millions of centuries! Ha 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 ha! That would be. Oh, it's not that simple. Damn it! Why can't immortality be simple? That for this machine, they want me to test, but test what? Their technologies, but I'm too lazy. So I'm getting you to do <laughs> uh. So the real question is... How am I going to... Make... How am I going to make this laser work? Unless there's somewhere else I should be. We'll rule the world! Um, well, I mean, we already kind of rule the world, but, you know, this is... <laughs> oh my god! I feel like this is a lot of a... Uh, I lost my evil laugh. We have to do this now! <laughs> I feel like this is something I am um, distinctly... Oh, okay. Go! Go! Nope, I'm going to assume that's what the laser is for. So then, how doth... Ow... How do you get in your receptacle, laser? What are you trying to tell me? What is the correct way? How will I know? What will I do? These things are all very important questions that we need to answer in our day-to-day -day lives. Otherwise, however, will we know the correct thing to do? So if I do that, I mean, that doesn't really help me in any way. I can't really put it on the ceiling. Putting it on there kind of would work if there was a thing in front of it. But as there's kind of... Ooh. Maybe if I make the angle even harsher. That's the opposite way. Damn it. Why would you put a laser here? It seems like such a silly place for a laser. Like, I, you, you, you had to shine it on the one angled platform? I refuse to believe this is a... Well, I mean, obviously it's not a coincidence. It's like the point of the thing. But at the same time... Oh, there's one up there. Does that help me? Could help me. If I do this... Like... That. And then maybe... Change the angle. Oh, I really thought I could somehow... Reach the other receptacle. That would have been... Badass. This concerns me, because I have no real idea how I'm supposed to do this. There doesn't seem to be an angle that is anywhere close to what we're wanting to achieve. There is laser cubes. But how am I supposed to activate... 
the laser cubes. Does that do anything? Doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Okay, we've made a cool kind of string of th things. Does that work? Probably counts, right? Actually, what happens if I put the laser... Can I even put the laser back through? Ooh, I could if I put it over to the left. That's made quite the web of stuff happen, but it's obviously not practical. Uh, I feel like this needs to flip so I can put the laser straight in there. That certainly would be helpful, but I feel like this is the one that starts things off. But at the same time, I have, have no idea how it's supposed to actually start things off. Because this just simply isn't the right angle for it to work. And I can't make it go any differently to that. Because it's too far over there. You'd, you'd assume that that would be the correct solution, at least to start with, wouldn't you? I... I can't do laser puzzles! They don't make geometric sense to me, and I'm a little bit, like, depressed at the moment in real life, and I don't need this! I just... Ooh... Can I just not do it and sneak up there? I hope so. Oh, I really wanted you to have expected me to notice that this was possible, because it's totally the kind of thing that I notice! I'm so upset right now. Geronimo! That was not necessary. Am I alive? I'm alive! Well... Um... Okay then. I'm gonna like... Um... I mean I can place portals but... I'm just gonna like... I'm just gonna... I'm gonna, it's a lot of work's obviously gone into this, but right now I just, you know, I, I just can't, I literally, I put the portal that had the laser come out of it everywhere that had a portable surface, so I feel like you've reached the point where you've made it so difficult that it's no longer fun, man. Despite it being a really cool idea, and I just, I, I am a little bit unstable mentally currently, and I can't deal with ridiculously impossibly difficult things at the moment. I really hope you guys can understand that. Though that said, a point to you guys. I've decided that it's gonna be fun to just have a system where every chamber I can't complete, you guys get a point, and every chamber I do complete, I get a point, and then we'll see who actually wins each episode. Also, this is freaking badass. I'm literally playing through Portal 1 maps in Portal 2. I think that is absolutely a wonderful, nice little notion for a chamber design. I think that's really, really sweet. Man, vom. But yeah, it's literally, this is pretending to be the lift, and it's just taking me to all of the next chambers. That is really, really cool. So we can go through into here. Press the button. We're just gonna raise that up, and then away we go. Down, 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 the elevator down. Down, 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 the sound we make and frown. Oh, down, 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 we constantly do know. Down, 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 however will we know. Just what the future holds, just what the f I just, like... Oh my god, I'm so happy that I didn't mess that up permanently. I would have been a little bit on the upset side of things, just a tad. That would have really, really sucked. So there you go, button. And I have completed Portal 1! Or at least the first chapter of Portal 1. What a really nice little chamber design. That is quite frankly awesome! <laughs> Goofy G10, liking it, my friend. Welcome to the show. Next up, chap chapter 30. A hero is born by Wouter Sm Wouter Smith. Wouter Smith. Wouter Smith. Wouter Smith. Okay, I was wrong on literally every count, but that's okay. 
I think sometimes you just gotta admit that it's okay to be wrong. Sometimes you just gotta admit that you need to sing a song. I don't know why I'm saying these things, but a button is here for a cube and it drops and I grab it and I place it on the button which opens the door which lets me move on and I don't really see the point of that corridor but I'm gonna continue my song. And then we put that in the beam. We put the cube on the beam. The cube goes down. I press the... B no, I don't because it would destroy the cube but we do not destroy the cubes. This is very dark and atmospheric and full of atmosphere and there's generally atmosphere here. Okay, I'm actually, I'm gonna press this now. Okay, it did exactly what I thought it would do. But at the same time, I noticed that this door is a thing. Wow. Okay, then. This is certainly, oh, do I have to run full tilt at the turret in order to take it out? I actually do. This is kind of a nice little set piece. You can tell someone's trying their hand at chamber design and they're really, not doing a bad job. That was really, really cool. Press that. We get our bridge. But the real question is, why do we need our bridge? Because we have enough cubes to move on, don't we? I'm not, I'm not going crazy, right? Well, crazier than normal, you know what I'm saying? Is there like a I'm just not going to question that. That's absolutely fine. I'm going to take my own advice. That is, that is not. Oh, so where actually was this cube supposed to go? Am I? Feel like I'm going crazy. And I don't know what to do. I feel like I'm going insane. And I got the world to do. Oh yeah, obviously I just need to whack it in the... Ooh, no. Huh! Ha <laughs> ha! Come on, that is one hella suave way of putting that in the beam. And we didn't actually need the other cube, so... I don't know, it can just die. Along with the corpse inside. I, I guess that kind of... I mean, you tried. You tried your good chamber, and I'll... I'll Wouter Smits, I'll give you credit for that. Next up, from the world's most adorable whale, Wilder Man. We have Super Challenge Extravaganza! So if this is not super challenging or an extravaganza, then really, we're just gonna have a massive problem. Open the door. See? I'm psychic, guys. I can make doors open at mine command! Where? Well, I can only assume these two at first? No. In that case, these two at first. Ha-ha! I am right in my assumptions. And then I'm going to assume... Boom! No, actually, that's completely wrong, because why would that be right? We put that in there. Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on, no, it does need everything. It does need all of the things. So... I have a plan again, guys. Got a plan. Gonna, gonna lose that cube for a second, but that's okay. I think the plan, quite simply, is point this laser. This is the type of laser puzzle I can do, see? Very simple and obvious ones, and I don't care if that, if you judge me. I don't, you think I care? I don't care. And then over here, simply place it back into the actual receptacle. A lot of laser action going down in this room. They do look cool, completed laser puzzles, though. They really, really do. All right. Sweet, so it's just a series of small little challenges to unlock the next area. I am totally down with that. Though this one looks a little bit on the harder side of things. I'm going to assume that I have to get a little bit tricky. There we go. Go over to here. And then some kind of subtle parkour there. I actually think that's a really, really neat way of doing things. So the real question is, of course, how do I get back? I'm going to assume that this raises enough for me to jump up on here, and indeed it does. Very nicely designed, but a little bit dark going on in here. That's what that's what I'd say if I had to criticize it. And of course I have to criticize it. That's like the point. This I really love. The Mission Impossible style mazes where you Ooh, sneaksy. Didn't even notice that one. Okay, jump. And then jump. And then Hold down. Oh wait, no, I can't hold it down. I have to have to take it all the way. And there we go, round the side. How's that one gonna go? So 
that's fine. I can just hop, then duck, then duck, dup dick die, dup dick. Wow, that would be a very different movie if that was actually how it was in a dodgeball. So we're gonna stand on there, put that in there. It, this just kills me. All it is is designed to kill me. Well, I mean, it actually does look very much designed to kill me, though. Strangely, I kind of like this. I think this is one of the few ways to use excessive death lasers in a really effective manner. That was pretty damn cool. Okay. Boom. Very nicely looped back. So our final challenge looks to be of the faith plate nature. Very nice medley. This very much suits the topic of anything. I'm only just a little bit disappointed that the chamber is kind of just very dark, you know? So this one, not much in the way of challenge, but we just get to enjoy flying through the air. And I love how succinctly it loops back on itself. That's what I think is really, really good. Gotta check for them eye-level lasers, because we've seen that this guy ain't afraid of no eye-level lasers. So we gotta make sure that we don't fall for that again, otherwise we're gonna be having problems. And we ain't about them problems. We never about them problems. And then right, nope, okay. It's fine. Oh. Well, this kind of... Kind of randomly sucks. I... What? What was the... What was the... What was the point of all of this? Have I failed? I feel like I've failed and I don't want to be a failure. I was never meant to be a failure. Being a failure is not for me. How am I supposed to be a failure? How, wait, how am I supposed to be a failure? Oh, there is actually another little bit. Aha. Very, very, just gonna assume it's pressed, but very, very sneaky. I completely walk past that one. The darkness actually being quite the help to your chamber there. I wonder if that was deliberate, because if so, kinda liking it. Though I don't know how I'm gonna avoid getting shot to death over here. This is probably of paramount importance. Here we go. I guess I just, oh, I just dropped down, okay. Looking pretty good, very long chamber. A lot of single cube length corridors though. Not a massive fan of them. Though this does have a very mysterious air to it. And... <laughs> oh, what an annoying thing to do in front of the uh, exit there. That is pretty damn good. I'm actually heartily impressed with that chamber. I think that is a very, very solid effort, Wilder Man. Good job to you. Next up, we have Puzzle Gauntlet by last place, 199. I'm really sorry, man, that you entered a competition with 198 other people and you managed to come last. That is, that has got to hit you right in the self-esteem, but I believe you can get through it. Of course I do. I believe in your power. I am the power. You wish you had the power? I was born in the power. Another power-based things. And all of the power is real. All of it. 122%. Why the extra 22%? Well, we went overdrive, didn't we? You've always got to go overdrive. I'm assuming this has done something useful. It has kind of done something useful. I, I feel maybe something useful. Okay, well, I get to choose one of them. So I'll go for the actual receptacle, though it does look like I do require all three. Huh. So maybe if I do that there and just ignore the laser that's already in this room and do this one with that, that does indeed technically speaking work, but whether it actually solves the chamber, who the hell knows? So is this just a series of laser puzzles? Because if so, I'm going to be very upset with someone. So I guess we'll use the same technique we did last time for at least these three. Oh, that actually, that actually raises the... Okay, maybe some thought process not quite going into this. So it doesn't like there's something that needs activating up here. Oh, okay. So it is actually a finite area. This seems a very... 
complicated kind of room. And now we've got an angled laser. I, I don't know how I feel about that. Because my experience with angled lasers is not the best. So, I mean, we can activate that there. And then place another laser cube into this. Which kind of technically works. But I don't know if this one needs to be on as well. That's the main, main concern. Because, I mean, does this button even need to be on? Like... It does that, yes, but if it didn't do that and I just did this, I could... Is that not activated? How dare you! There we go. I could just do this and then point the last one through there. And then point the last one into the receptacle. If literally all that does is make the angled panel come out, it seems like it's really not necessary. So we'll leave everything like that and just hope that stuff is is good down there now. I mean, we have portals to come back. All of the lines seem on, so that seems like it works. If, I mean, if this actually is work, this is kind of cool. A tower of laser puzzles that you have to slowly get to the top, and at the top you activate something that changes how it was at the bottom. I can see that being a really nice idea. Almost Transylvanian nice. Yep, we still have it coming all the way, so we'll find out what we've actually activated at this point, because it could be literally... Oh, alright, so we just activated a load of the exit requirements. That sucks a little, because I feel like I'm going to have to come back there and do that again. I don't know how I feel about that. Also, that doesn't even seem like it's on. I feel like maybe there are a few design issues with this chamber. This certainly looks like it's just walk around in a circle for eight years and then you'll get somewhere. Which isn't, you know, it's not the most fun thing in the world to do. If I had to fully evaluate my options here, there's there's probably things I'd rather be doing. I'm going to assume over there and round. Yep, that is correct. Though, I have to give points for trying. You always got to give points for trying. It's a nice thing to do. Make a chamber, submit it, seeing being played. It's a wonderful experience between me and you. Again, I don't really know why Dracula got involved in that, but he felt the need to... Well, as there is a cube here and a button there, I'm going to go out on a crazy Sherlock guess here and assume that I will probably need this cube later on. I know what you're thinking, but how could you possibly know that? And well, the answer is quite simple. I have the gift. I have the power. I know what all must do. So this is going to activate two more things, so that's nice. But it's whether these two more things actually open the exit, because I can't re-portal without having to redo the entire laser puzzle. And I, w I will tell you one thing. I will tell you one thing right here. Ain't nobody got time to redo the entire laser puzzle. It was just not that thrilling. It's a really good idea, but still not that thrilling. I hope I can just straight get back down, because that would suck otherwise. Calling that this is now on. Yeah, of course it is. <sighs> Well, at least it's technically points for creativity. It's trying to kill me on the way out instead of on the way in. So we got that going for us, which is, of course, really, really nice. And boom, ba da boom, 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 boom. Whoop. Okay. Whoop. Okay. Whoop. Just checking. Don't press control too early. Save before the lasers. All right. So that's open the third one. Maybe this is actually going to work. Well, actually, I'm not sure. I mean, we have activated a new exit bit, but again, I, if, if any of this involves me to replace a portal, I'm kind of screwed. And I'm almost convinced now that it's going to have to make me place a portal. Seems weird that the last thing I need to do... Yes, it is. So I have to do a gel and bounce puzzle, which is going to open that room over there, which will finally let me finish the unlock and that is a fizzler so it's getting across the other side of the room but of course when I do that we instantly lose the unlock from all the way over there so I do like the chamber I really like the ideas that you've got but it needs just a little bit more refinement you know it seems just a lot of like walking around and busy work more than actual just yeah go so next up we have my Joe fish could be anything keep outside and this looks Certainly a little bit on the ominous 
end of the spectrum. SV cheats, change to one. Well, okay then. Guys, if you want me to cheat. Ooh. Is that a bird attached to a glass platform to simulate? I'm, I am so confused by that, actually. This. Ooh. Ow, oh, that is so cool. So I can pass through that whenever I want in order to make the things happen. That is such a neat idea. Joe Fish, all up in here. Come on, no! Ah, that. Poorly timed, I'll admit. As far as timing things goes, that was of the poorly timed variety. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even mad that that's all it is. That was phenomenal. Next up, we have my demon arisen. His cat in a roll. We have Switch. Switch to what, you may ask? Switch to never know. I don't really know why that's a thing, but it's a thing now. Open. Okay. That's fine. And then... Boom. No? Oh, we get a cube. Feel like if I do this, I can at least acquire the cube in question for now. Though the real thing I need to find out is where exactly I'm wanting to place the cube. Could go all the way around here. Obviously, I can't bring the cube with me, but I can portal back through, I would assume. Oh, no, I can't. Okay, so the floor's not deadly here. If we can get back to the wa 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 beam, well, I mean, I can portal like over there, ish. Apparently, apparently not. But would that even help me? It would help me. No, it wouldn't help me. Okay. Well, this is interesting. So clearly, all I need to do. Actually, no, that's a two... That's a two-wide jump as well. So I need... I need the blue to accomplish that. So why... Why can't I... Oh, there's glass there. There is glass there. That really sucks. So the real question... Is how do I get over here with everything intact? I guess I just have to use... The blue wa 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 wa, but I can't use it in that way because it's pushing me out of the gap instead of onto it. I'd need to reverse reverse the polarity. I'm going to assume I do that by blocking this. No, it just actually turns it off. Oh, but instead we get a laser light bridge. So that in turn is actually very interesting. So we basically swap between a. Well, I guess that's why the map is called Switch, everybody. But how does the switching of these things help us? That's the real conundrum we got to deal with. Because obviously I can reach the exit now, but reaching the exit doesn't matter when it's not on the wa 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 beam part of things. So that's nice that this can send me up here. We now know what that's for. And that obviously is the exit button. This is quite the well-designed chamber. But of course, the question is, how do I make use of the tools that I have been given? Because I can't... How do I make the switch happen? Because I need the switch to happen when I am... Actually, what happens if I just go through to here? Because what I could do is go through to here, and then... Bring this with me. No, 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 no. Uh. Well, I feel like I was kind of on the right track there, but then instantly, instantly failed. So we're going to try that just again, just a little bit, just a slight tad. If I do this, we go through here. And then basically what I'm wanting to do is grab that and then leave out the thing. Okay, so now that I'm doing that... What I can, nope, move. What I can do is put this on here and then go through there with the cube. And then I at least can get the cube and me to the cube and me. It's like a love story of time. I can at least get the cube and me over to this side, which is what I obviously need to do. 
And then I can whack that there. And then... Wait. No, don't... Come on, I can do this. Use my upper arm strength. I believe. I believe. Okay, okay. I believe. No, I'm not. I don't... I don't believe anymore. My belief has gone away. And it's just... It's just not the same. The belief and the pain as we remember the name and we gotta go through. Okay, so clearly we do have to use the faith plate. That's, that's what I've learned from this. I'll accept that. But the real question is, how? How do we do that? Because without the cube over there, we obviously can't switch. And that's like the whole point of this. So, really? I oh, actually, no. No, actually, no. That's that's a complete lie, isn't it? Because what I can do, I don't need the light bridge for anything. That's kind of tricksy, actually. You legitimately don't need the light bridge for anything, because you can just do that, right? That should, in theory, have solved the chamber. Which I think is actually... Well, you need the light bridge to do the switch happening initially. But that was really well designed. I'm actually very impressed by that one. Good job, Demon Arisen. Good damn job. And that brings us to the end of today's Anything episode. I'm sorry, it's not as long as usual. Not as many chambers and stuff. But I am dealing with stuff right now. So vote 1, vote 2, vote 3, vote 4, vote 5, vote 6, vote 7, vote 8. The topic of next week is also anything. Email in the description to submit your chamber. Make sure there's a link to it on Steam in the body. For now, my name is Invasion, but I like you've enjoyed this. It really does help, and I do appreciate it. And subscribe for more. Oh, good boy. You've been watching